Hello everyone, thank you for joining us today. My name is Tiffany Garcia and I'm a librarian at the San Jose Public Library. Today we will be making a few clothespin crafts. Today we will make a shark, a frog, and a whale. What you will need for all three of these crafts will be paper, but I highly recommend cardstock if you have it, color pencils or markers, clothespins, scissors, and tacky glue. The first thing you're going to want to do is draw a uh, shark. So this is the first one we're going to be doing. We're going to be drawing a shark. Now to do this, you will need some sort of image at least to, to draw it out. Um, I'm going to use my uh, phone here to uh, draw out a shark just by looking on the image. And if you uh, practice enough times, you'll be able to draw it. Um, I will be making little mistakes and that is why I am using a pencil going to just draw it out and make a shark the best way I can but you got to make sure to make it just big enough that it will fit the paper I'm sorry the uh, clothespin so here you see I have it over my image I'm just making sure it's going to be uh, the image of the shark is going to be covering the clothespin and you're going to want to make sure that the mouth is going to be meeting up with the mouth of the clothespin and I am gonna try to fix this so that you won't see the clothespin behind the image. And I'm just drawing the um, eyes and then the fins here, the, um, the uh, gills here. And uh, now I'm actually going to draw in the teeth here. See, you can't really, it, it's a little too small for my shark here. I should have made the shark a little bigger, but it's okay. Uh, and now I'm making the line part where the uh, white part of the shark is. Now I'm going to start coloring it in uh, using a grayish blue for the shark. Keeping sort of like the chin area or chest of the shark white, but then coloring the rest into a uh, grayish light blue here. And just looking at it one more time, making sure the clip will be hidden. So now I'm going to go ahead and cut out the shark. I am uh, cutting this one in half, but uh, before cutting the rest of it, I think I better just wait. Uh, yeah. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is uh, cut the outside part of the shark. I'm going to try to get as close as I can. If I need to, I will just cut it out in a chunk. That way I can easily get to it. Um, I think it's hard to get to the nose area, so now I'm just going to cut the outer part first, and then I'll come back to the mouth area. Once I have the uh, shark out, I will go ahead and cut the rest out because I'm going to look at it to see how it's going to be once I paste it on. So notice I'm going to paste the bottom part to the bottom part of the um, uh, clothespin and then the top part to the top part of the clothespin. So let's start off with the bottom one first. I want to keep that one at the bottom, uh, bottom layer as well. So just adding a little dopples of glue all only at the bottom part of the clothespin. Um, 
Uh oh, I almost forgot. I gotta cut the teeth out too. So let me uh, cut the ex all that white little pieces out, just tiny bits. Uh, I it doesn't have to be perfect. What I'm gonna go ahead and do is just cut sort of um, uh, triangles, get some of the teeth out sticking out. Now press it down, and you gotta hold it there in place, maybe for about a minute. So that, because the clothespin's um, metal part will want to um, be pressing a uh, pressing the paper off. So now that's gonna add a little more glue there, the back part there. Hold it in place. Maybe put something over it uh, while I work on the uh, top part of the shark. I'm gonna cut that all that white stuff off still. I wasn't able to get to when I was cutting out the shark. And then now I'm cutting little tiny triangles to get the teeth out. You might have to pull a little bit of the pieces off. Uh, you don't want to cut too much. Or accidentally cut the whole shark's uh, face off. You don't want to do that. So yeah, just cutting tiny little tri uh, triangles there. Breaking those little tiny pieces off. Now I'm gonna go ahead and um, make sure it's flat. And now um, the bottom part is good. So now I'm gonna uh, position it, see what it's going to look like. Um, and you wanna make sure the gills are aligned. Um, so we want it to look like that once it's glued on. So I'm just looking at where the clothespin uh, parts are, the top part. And now I'm gonna go ahead and add glue to it now that I have an idea. And now I'm gonna go ahead and add that top part on. Remember, match the gills, make sure they're aligned. And you don't, you want to keep the whole shark together. Make sure it's not separated as like the uh, clothespin is at the back. And press it in place. You may notice I have little extra dots of glue visible. It's okay, it'll dry up. Then hold it in place there for about a minute, pressing it down. I make sure all the glue is touching both the clothespin and the shark. Now I uh, might want to let it dry longer, but I'm just testing it out to make sure that it's going to work the way I want it to. See, it's working very well. And um, yeah, that, I think that's pretty much it. Just wanted to make sure that the glue is not touching the uh, both sides of the clothespin. Want to make sure it's not going to dry closed because I'll be I want it to be able to open. Now I'm going to go ahead and do the frog. So now I'm going to use uh, green construction paper because um, I could color it in, but uh, since I have green construction paper, I'm going to go ahead and do that. So now I'm going to draw a frog. Uh, using just the image I found online. Uh, I need it to be a profile picture. Need to make sure it's a profile picture. I'm gonna draw it out here and make sure it, the mouth part aligns with the clothespin. Uh, I may need to, you may need to draw, draw it a few times, erase it and such just to get it perfect so that it's completely, uh, the image is gonna completely cover the clothespin. And you'll notice here, I make a few mistakes. I just gotta erase it and then fix it. Mm
So here's where I'm going to draw in uh, the white eyeballs here. And then I'm going to use a black pencil to uh, make an eyeball, uh, a pupil. Now I'm going to go ahead and cut it out. So get your pair of scissors and cut it out. And go slowly. Make sure you're not going too fast. I'm just kind of fast forwarding here because uh, it could take a while. So take your time and um, So it's kind of hard here, so I just cut out a chunk so that I can get to it easily. May have to cut little pieces out easily so that you don't accidentally cut something else like his arm. <laughs> Gotta be careful. And now I need to make sure to color in the chest. I almost forgot that part. The chest is gonna be a lighter green, so I'm gonna use my white color pencil to make it lighter. And make sure it's uh, not gonna be folding. And I also forgot to make the little warts on the back, so I just used a black pencil for that. And now I'm cutting through the mouth. And I'm gonna just cut actually to the back part of him. So his mouth is going to be opening up once I have it glued on the clothespin. But I um, just want his head and back, so I'm going to cut that off. The rest is going to stay on together. See, I just cut the his back and his head off. And now what I'm going to go ahead and do, well, as you see here, so let's see here. What I'm going to go ahead and do is um, glue on just the lower part of the frog to the clothespin. So don't glue his um, the uh, lower back he has. I'm just going to add some glue on the bottom part of this clothespin. Don't add it on the top here as you see I did accidentally. Don't add the glue yet there. That was a mistake and you'll see in a second I'm gonna actually end up re uh, taking that off. <laughs> ah, made a mistake. Yep, here we go. Gonna rip a piece of paper off and just scrape that top uh, clothespin part off. Uh, scrape the glue off of it because uh, I don't want that there yet. What I want is just and make sure it's nice and flat glue that on and I'm just pressing the lower part of the clothespin make sure the clothespin doesn't glue together and now I'm gonna go ahead and place the top part of the frog onto the top part of the clothespin and the back edge doesn't have to be glued on it can stay uh, open pressing the head on make sure the head is staying on well on the clothespin I'm opening and closing the clothespin just to make sure it's not going to be glued shut. I want to make sure the mouth opens and there's no glue strain going between the two parts of the clothespin. Now we're going to make a little fly. So uh, it can be a very simple fly. I'm uh, just going to uh, cut sort of an oval shape that will be the body of the fly. 
and then um, I'm gonna cut out some wings, kind of like a uh, heart shape, uh, except the um, top part of the heart is more pointy, uh, sort of like an M, but one side's smaller than the other. And it's very tiny, but you can see, yeah. Because I'm uh, gonna glue that on. But first, let me color the body of the fly, and the flies are normally black. So I'm gonna color that in. And I can leave the edge white, it's fine, because I'm gonna be covering that. Uh, so now I'm going to uh, flip the fly over and let me first test it out here. So as you see here, you can see the tiny little fly. But to do that, I'm going to face it down the, the fly body. Just trimming a tiny little piece off to make it more narrow the wings. And now I'm going to add a tiny bit of glue on the bottom uh, where it's connected. The wings. Going to um, add some glue there, and then I'm going to glue it to the back side of the fly. Uh, on so mine has a little flat side there. I'm going to glue it uh, so that the wings are facing up from there. And glue, and now it's glued together. You see. And so now what I'm going to go ahead and do is add a little bit of glue on the front side of the fly. Because what I'm going to do is glue it on the other side of the clothespin. So I'm going to add some glue on the front side where the black, the black fly is. Just the lower part because it's going to be glued to the bottom part of the clothespin. And press it and make sure that the clothespin can close. It's not, uh, the uh, fly is not keeping it open or sliding. You see, it's on the lower part of the clothespin because once I open the clothespin, I should see the fly on the other side. Make it look like the frog is eating the fly. Just pressing it, uh, making sure it stays in place. And if I need to adjust it, to just uh, shift it a little bit before the glue dries up completely. Okay. And here's my frog, and you see? There's the little fly he's eating because frogs eat flies. And that is it of the frog activity. Now we're going to do the whale activity. So for this one, you're going to draw out the whale. And for this one, you want to make sure it's nice and big. Nice and big um, so the clothespin will be hidden. And uh, just draw it out the best you can. It doesn't have to be perfect, but just try. Uh, you notice here, I make a lot of mistakes and I'll erase it quite a few times. Trying to get the whale's body right. And then the tail. Make that nice and big. And uh, yeah, I wanna make sure the whale is nice and big, you know, very wide. And then you're going to draw his face and his uh, chest. For his left side fin, I'm going to keep it connected, but at uh, for his right side fin, I'm going to draw it on a, a separate part, uh, just because I'm going to cut that part out later. And uh, now I'm going to go ahead and start cutting his, oh, I almost forgot, I need to actually color him in. So I'm going to lightly color his chest but then the rest of his body like his fin and his upper body I'm gonna make it more darker so just light lightly blue on his chest 
and make it darker the rest of his body and his tail. Once you are done coloring, you can go ahead and cut him out. So I'm going to start the top part. Cut all the exterior part out and go gently, making sure not to cut off any important parts. It's kind of hard to uh, cut around his left fin, so I'm going to just go ahead and cut a chunk of the paper around the fin out and come back to that later. Now I'm going to um, go ahead and cut the interior part before the fin, just like a triangle, and then now cut the outside, continue cutting the rest. And cut around his lips here and there we go. Now I'm gonna set that side and cut the right fin out. Remember I am keeping the right fin separate because I'm going to glue that on because if I kept it together it wouldn't work properly the uh, clothes pin. See how it looks normal? Now what I'm going to do is cut the mouth. I'm going to cut through the center. Follow the line as much as possible, but keeping it sort of flat for the clothespin. I'm going to end up cutting the uh, lower part of his body. There, that will be going to the lower part of the clothespin. So now just to get an estimation as to how it will look, I'm just uh, positioning it. Pra it's like practicing. Um, I'm going to want to scoot that all the way to the front and see how it's going to be like that. And then I'm going to add the top. Now you may notice that the bottom part is a little overlapping the top part of the pin. That's okay as long as I don't add glue. To the top part of the clothespin, it will be fine. So, I'm uh, gonna go ahead and add that glue now onto the clothespin itself, just the lower part. Can add a little over the metal part there, it's fine. And so, now I'm going to position the um, lower part of the whale onto the clothespin. and uh, holding it in place for maybe about a minute just to make sure it stays on because the metal part of the clothespin wants to push the um, whale piece off because it's sticking out from the rest of the pin.
Okay, so I'm going to set that aside for just a moment uh, longer and let it face down. It's pretty much grabbed together, but I'm going to set it aside. Uh, right now I'm going to work on the fin, uh, the right side fin that's uh, not attached to the whale. Um, so now I'm going to add that little fin, just the top part, a little glue, and press it down against the top part of the whale. Press it down, press this down again, again a little more. Um, you know what we're gonna do though is set this aside. Um, Cause while this is drying, I'm just going to uh, work also on a little sailboat. I'm just gonna grab any piece I have here just to, um, just to make a tiny little sailboat. Uh, you know how he made a fly for the frog? Well, I'm going to do a sailboat because whales, um, as we've seen in stories, might swallow a sailboat. So, just drawing a little sailboat. Um, I'm not liking... Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to draw another one. Let me try that again. So, I'm drawing kind of like a triangle for the top sail and then make the bottom of the boat and make sure it's uh, big enough so that you can glue a little bit of the bottom of the boat onto the clip. I'm going to get my uh, color pencils here. You can use markers if you like. And I'm just going to color the bottom of the sailboat. And uh, I'm gonna get a black pencil to outline it better. I could leave it with the pencil mark, but I'm gonna use my black color pencil to make the middle part there. And there we go. And now I'm going to cut it out. Okay, so I have my little sailboat ready to go. And I think this is dry now, so I'm gonna go ahead and um, add glue to the top part of the uh, clothespin here. And just the pin itself. I'm not adding glue to the uh, whale's lower body or anything like that, just the pin itself. Now I've got to position it, make sure that it's uh, aligned, especially the lips in the front under my thumb here, you can't really see, but just make sure it's aligned there and pressing down onto the pin, just the pin. And holding it down may take about a minute, but uh, I want to make sure it stays on properly before I even test it. And now um, I'm going to go ahead and test it now. See, yeah, as I pinch the clothespin, the mouth is opening. I don't want to um, do it too much but I want to test it out make sure it opens properly and I didn't add glue too much too much glue 
that it would close and seal up the clothespin. Okay, now that it's uh, really uh, glued on well, I'm going to go ahead and position um, the sailboat and see how I want it to look. So, I will want to add some glue just on the bottom part of the clothespin, the bottom. Just a little bit there, see where the white is, and uh, add my little sailboat and make sure it is sticking out side in an angle that it looks like the sailboat was just swallowed by the whale. Just holding it down and making sure the glue didn't link to the other, the top part of the clothespin. I'm um, gonna test it out now just to make sure. And there it is. There's my little sailboat. It was just swallowed by a whale. And I'm just doing this a couple more times to make sure that the glue is not going to seal the clothespin shut. And that's it. Now we have our whale. Thank you for joining me and the San Jose Public Library. Please take a few minutes to fill our program survey. For a complete list of other virtual programs, please visit sjpl.org forward slash virtual programs. Also, don't forget to follow us at at San Jose Library on Facebook and sign up for their newsletter at sjpl.org forward slash e-newsletter to stay informed of all things SJPL. Have a great day.